I decided today to do something that I haven't done in a while, and that's an unboxing. I'm James, and you're watching Blue Dog Reptiles. Now, we don't have too many animals. One of the animals we already put away, um, and it was a little sassy, and it's already made a mess of its top. And we'll show you that at the end. But, yeah. So, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, we finally got some rain here, which it's about time because everything's dry. But, so, one of the main things when you're doing an unboxing is you want to look at a couple of different things. And this will tell you a lot about the vendor. One, there are holes in the box itself that go all the way through the foam that's on the inside. Now, let's say that you get a box and there's no foam. Odds are, depending on the weather, your animal might be deceased. Um, I've seen it. it, it happens. Now, right now the weather outside is pretty warm, um, but it's not too hot. So there's no cold packs, there's no heat packs. Um, it's actually the perfect temperature. So, first kiddo, oh man, this thing is so tiny. It's so tiny. So this is a white lip tree frog. I love this vendor because they put not only the common name, but the scientific name on there as well. Because you do have a lot of species that have very, that look very similar. Um, but yeah. Next up, we have the alp, sorry kid, the albino Pac-Man frog. Again, they have the scientific name underneath the common name. Another thing you want to look for with unboxings, make sure that there's ventilation. Um, obviously like tarantulas and stuff like that are shipped differently because you don't want a hole. I mean, you want small holes, but you don't want like holes that size because they'd get out if they were slings. This right here is a Peppermint Pac-Man frog. Look at his eyes. That's really cool. Now, one of the other things that I always make sure of is to make sure that there's nobody else. Because my vendors have a habit of sending me freebies from time to time. And yeah, last thing I want is to accidentally throw out a uh, an animal. That would be bad. Now we're already prepped. These are amphibians. Um, the last animal we will show is not an amphibian, um, but we have gloves. Um, I always wear gloves with uh, amphibians. Uh, amphibians, or I'll just say frogs because it's easier. Frogs absorb everything through their skin. And so if you have perfumes, cologne, uh, hand lotions, what have you, that can affect your frog and that's something you don't want. Now, another thing coming up. So I already have these uh, tanks ready. So as you can see, this is something that I put on every new animal. Let's see if I can zoom back, there we go. Every new animal that comes in has a just arrived, please let us rest, and then I will be ready for a new home. Now, I used to put dates um, back when I laminated these and then I lost my laminator. <laughs> Um, but we quarantine our animals. Now, depending on what type of animal dictates how long it gets quarantined. And then also, uh, what type of, Hey, excuse you. I barely had the lid open. We're sitting here talking. Okay, fine. Fine. Go in there. So impatient. Now, back to what I was saying before I was interrupted by Mr. Pac-Man, who's impatient, is uh, depending on the animal dictates how long it goes through quarantine, depends on where it comes from, how long it was in shipping, in shipping. And then obviously, like you can see, I have labels here. Um, ooh, I need to move that. Where did the gargoyle go? Where, where did I? Oh, the baby gargoyle got moved up. So I need to move this up. Let's see if I can get it on there straight. There we go. 
don't want someone thinking there's a gargoyle in here and it's a pac-man frog now once i get labels made obviously these will go away but so i know what they are i set the lids on top um because uh sometimes the lids aren't always made um now i have to look at the two different enclosures to see how they're set up to pin okay there's a cricket that wanted to come out um i think we're gonna put the other pac-man in this one because there's more floor space in this one now mind you this is not a forever home for pac-man frog these are juvenile pac-mans so they just stay in here temporarily these are bioact nope nope we're, we're going the wrong way there there we go but you see how small he is compared to this tank um there's plenty of floor space in there and he'll burrow in the ground and get comfortable and you're like well why are you putting locks on well because people like to steal we used to when we first opened we never had locks on and then someone stole two what actually it was a uh, pac-man that got stolen and then what was it else there was some other amphibian that got stolen and after that all the locks went on which sucks because it made it so much oh let's see if i can hold it straight it takes more time because now we have to go through and unlock everything when we're feeding i mean it's whatever but yeah people are awful now let's see if we can get I'm gonna see, oh i guess you do have little white lips all right sorry about the bad shots but i need to focus on him hey no 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 well, i guess we're gonna get a good shot of him escaping there we go he's in there now i'm just glad sorry about the bad shot i'm just glad the missing system isn't hooked up yet because when that happens uh it's gonna be a whole lot harder to remove enclosures like i just did um also stay tuned um there will be some announcements on friday um so make sure to watch that video now sometimes we do wash these and reuse them but i have too many of them so i'm not going to <laughs> but of course last and not least and you can also reuse these too Last but not least, again, I apologize about his enclosure. It's not clean because he decided to immediately come in and poop everywhere. Here he is. This is a hypo albino bull snake. Are you going to hiss? He's getting ready to go through shed. No, we're not going to be sassy. All right. See? even made me jump good lord that's a way to get the blood pumping are we being sassy are we being sassy oh so angry so angry why are you so angry all right we'll let him be We'll let him settle in. Obviously, we just put a hide in there and uh, a water dish. Uh, we just do paper towels because he's just going through quarantine right now. Um, but, yeah, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, and do everything else. Stay beautiful. And uh, we will see you guys next time.